Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today we're going to be adding some new fish to my 75 gallon aquarium. If you take a closer look you can actually see there are some fish in there already. But other than those fish we are going to be adding my five convict cichlids into this tank. We're also going to be buying a couple new fish for this tank as well. But first let's go ahead and take a look at the tank. This is my 75 gallon aquarium. And the fish in here are my Buenos Aires Tetras. They used to be in my 125 gallon tank but if you take a closer look at this tank you'll notice there's a lot less fish and that's obviously not a good sign. First of all Mr. P the catfish you guys already know he's in the 55 with Pluto he's fine they're doing well together but I also used to have my redhead cichlid my clown knife and my arowana in this tank and there's a bit of a story to it so basically I noticed a couple of my Buenos Aires tetras actually went missing out of the 125 and I assumed that was from my blue crayfish Neptune because I saw one of the Buenos Aires tetras had a claw mark in him but then Neptune my crayfish did pass away and that could have been from anything I've had him for like almost two years now I think but then after Neptune passed I noticed a couple more Buenos Aires tetras went missing and I figured it was my blood parrot and the Texas cichlid because I'm almost positive they were trying to breed. Kobe was doing the same stuff with him. I saw her doing it with my old convict cichlid that actually led to us getting my five baby convict cichlids. So I moved the Buenos Aires Tetras into the 75, but then one morning I came down here and I did not see my clown knife fish. I took a closer look and his skull was the only thing left of him in the tank. It's pretty brutal. Something definitely had a feast of him overnight. So I was really upset about losing the clown knife. So I planned on moving my blood parrot and Texas cichlid into this 40 gallon to try and breed them and also to get them away from my other fish because I assumed it was them but then the next day I came down here again and I saw my silver arowana halfway in my redhead cichlid's mouth and when I saw that I was so upset I grabbed the redhead cichlid out of that tank immediately and I put him over here in the pool pond he's actually right down there and he's doing really well in here so far he's been in here for about a week you can see his colors look good he's been eating he doesn't look scratched up so things are going well with Mr. Redhead in the pool pond so yeah to sum it up my redhead cichlid killed my arowana my clown knife fish a handful of my Buenos Aires Tetras, potentially my blue crayfish, I don't know. And he did it all without me even noticing it was him. So I guess our redhead cichlid is just a fish serial killer. But yeah, now my plans for this tank, I'm still gonna get the blood parrot and Texas cichlid out of here. Try and breed them in the 40 gallon. I think it would be cool. And I could sell you guys the babies on my website. The electric blue Acara will be going in the 75 eventually. The silver dollars are gonna stay in here. And then right when we move those two cichlids into the 40 gallon, I'm putting our red tail catfish in that 125. Bro has gotten big in this turtle pond. He's ready to go. And then over the next few weeks, we will definitely be keeping an eye out for clown knife, arowana. I want to get everything I had. Plus, I want to get peacock bass. I don't think I'm going to do any more American cichlids in this tank. I think this is just going to be my like predatory fish tank. And yeah, that's that. I just wanted to get you guys caught up real quick. Definitely sucks that we lost my two coolest fish, honestly. But yeah, as always, we're going to learn from it and move on. And with that being said, right now we are going to head upstairs and take a look at the 15 gallon tank. This right here is my 15 gallon planted aquarium. It used to be in my office, but I did move it into the living room. And believe it or not, there are five convict cichlids in this tank. All they ever really do in this tank is hide, other than when it's feeding time. So to catch these guys out of here, we are definitely going to need to take this entire tank apart. Which I am definitely not looking forward to, but I am looking forward to seeing these convicts in that 75. They have never seen that much space in their entire life. Oh yeah, and uh, surprise, I got some new fish right here. First of all, I did get a German blue ram. I've always wanted one of these guys. They've got some awesome colors. They stay pretty small. They are an American cichlid, and they should go perfect with these convicts. He is pretty much the exact same size as them. But then other than that guy, we did get an albino dinosaur bicher. Check that guy out. You can see why he's called a dinosaur bicher. Those spikes on his dorsal fin. I've always also wanted one of these guys. I mean, you can see why. It is just an awesome fish. And we're actually going to be quarantining those two fish in this 15 gallon right after we move these convicts into the 75 downstairs. So today it's just going to be the five convicts and the Buenos Aires Tetras in that tank. But then when these two are done quarantining in a week or two, they'll be joining the other fish in the 75 as well as the electric blue car. So that's what the 75 gallon timeline is looking like. But right now we are going to go ahead and get all these decorations out of the 15 and start catching our convicts out of here. Alrighty guys, now that we got most of those decorations out, you can now see our convict cichlids. Tank is definitely a little foggy, but that is KJ right back there, the biggest one, Killer Junior, named after his father. So I'm gonna run downstairs and grab my net, and we're gonna get these guys into a bucket, then we'll run them on down to their new 75 gallon tank. All 
All right, now that we caught all five of those convicts, we are going to let our ram and bicher start acclimating to this 15 gallon. And here's a slightly better look at them. That bicher is definitely awesome. And there's the ram right over there. He's got some orange. He's also got some blue on him. It'll definitely come in when he gets comfortable in here. But we will be back up here in a second to put them in that tank. Right, now we're gonna get these boys downstairs and we are going to release them into their 75 gallon tank. There all five of them go. The Buenos Aires Tetra is coming over to check them out. We got a couple of the convicts right back there in the corner. They don't even know what to do with themselves right now. Just look how tiny they look in this tank, dude. They have so much room. We got Killer Jr. under the driftwood. A couple of his brothers with him as well. Oh, he's coming over to link up with these other two. They are absolutely going to love it in here. So much room. And yeah, they do love to hide. So they have this driftwood. They've got this log over here. And I knew I wanted to have them with some kind of community fish so that they wouldn't get hurt, but they would also like learn to socialize because I do eventually want to put them with other cichlids, but they've never been with anyone other than each other. So I'm hoping these Buenos Aires Tetras can just teach these convicts how to act around other fish. Oh, one of them's right in the driftwood right there. Did you see him? So I'm going to turn off the light in here, make those convicts a little bit more comfortable. We'll give them some time to get adjusted to this tank, and we are going to head back upstairs and add our ram and bicher into their 15-gallon quarantine tank. All right, you guys, we are back upstairs. I just got the tank set back up off camera. It looks the exact same. The only difference is I moved this plant to the front, but we are ready to add our fish to this tank so we're gonna dump them into this net starting off with our blue ram and we've got our albino dino right here and into the new tank they go Bicher is up there chilling in the plants. Ram just went to the bottom. There is a close-up look at our ram. I don't know why the tank is doing this with the lighting. Sorry about that, but yeah, beautiful fish right there. Then our albino bicher right back here. Check that guy out. Oh, he's going in the rock. But now same thing with this tank. We're gonna turn the light off, let these fish get adjusted, and we'll do a big update on all these fish in the morning. We'll try feeding them as well. I'm definitely excited to see how everyone likes their new tanks. But now with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the morning. Alrighty guys, well, definitely not the next day. It's actually been a few days since the last clip and you can see I did get a little bit of a trim yesterday, but no one cares about that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the 75 gallon tank. You can see it's looking good. Let's take a closer look at the convict cichlids. We got KJ right here, looking all happy. These convicts are looking like completely different fish now. The whole idea with socializing them with the Buenos Aires Tetras definitely worked. Or I mean, maybe it was just a bigger tank and less plants and stuff. Could have been anything, but the point is the convicts are finally coming out of their shell. Their colors are looking nice. This guy right here, his stripes are looking darker than I've ever seen them. You can see another one of the convicts hiding in the cave over there. As promised, we are going to go ahead and feed all these fish. Got a pinch of flakes right here. We're just going to throw it in at the filter and watch everyone munch away. I'm definitely happy to see these five convict cichlids enjoying their new 75 gallon tank. They're gonna be in here for a while. They're probably gonna stay in here until they're pretty much full grown. And now that they have all this open space, they're definitely gonna start growing a lot faster. But now before we end the video, we are gonna head upstairs and take a look at our ram and bicher. All right, guys, and here we are upstairs at the 15 gallon tank. And right off the bat, let's take a look at our German blue ram. This guy's colors have definitely came in nicely. When you look at him from a certain angle, you can really see that blue. Yeah, check out those blue colors. It's not really picking up that much on camera, but in person it is just super bright blue. And then I believe the albino bicher, yep, you can see him right back there hiding in the corner. We'll drop in some food and hopefully get him to come out. The food is starting to make its way down to our ram and he's munching. Check it out. Just look at those colors. He's got the yellow, the blue, the purple. Oh, here comes our bicher. The food did call him out. He is doing great as well. He's been eating these flakes. I've dropped in bloodworms and brine shrimp a couple times. They definitely like that. But they both like the flakes. They're looking good. And here in about a week, they're going to be ready to go into that 75 gallon tank. But that is pretty much going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I have a lot of new stuff on the way for you guys. New setups, new animals, new types of videos. It'll all be here very soon. As always, thank you guys for sticking with me. Today's comments of the day goes out too. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications and I'm going to see you in the next video.